This video is sponsored by Jonathan, David, and Jared. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you for donating. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the birthday wishes, Jonathan. All right, so today I want to talk about the Childish Gambino video called This Is America. So first off, don't listen to this song because it's an audio virus and it will get in your head and over and over again you'll be hearing this is america like right now it's running along the back of my mind as i'm talking right now childish gambino otherwise known as donald glover apparently he has a couple of personalities all these people seem to have alter egos I love the way they kind of play a name game with this. Danny Glover was sort of this stand-up black dude, and um, Donald Glover is close, but not quite. And apparently he gets a lot of questions about whether or not he's Danny Glover's son. So he isn't, if they're even real people, they're probably not. Um, so, Childish Gambino. Just like Lil Wayne, Lil John, it's a sort of childlike name. And we're supposed to think that this is blackness. We all know that Mr. Steinberg puts these people up to this. That's why he couldn't answer any questions about the meaning behind this fucking video. So apparently he is like a man with titties did you notice how like fluffy his pecs were but he didn't have any like fucking arm muscles he just was this androgynous thing dancing around like a dandy with a bunch of school kids i know there's supposed to be some deeper nuancey kind of hidden meaning to this video but I just want to take it at face value. So what we have in this video is a black man that appears to be crazy. All the facial expressions that he's making, mentally ill. If that guy was coming up to you, would you trust him? Of course not. You wouldn't trust that dude. So, um... But he's supposedly representing America. He's supposedly wearing these Confederate pants. Um, I just love the way that the media has provided all of us with an explanation for the hidden meanings in this video. When you ask Danny Glover, Childish Gambino, what the video meant, he won't even say it. But we all now know what this video means. They have provided us with the explanation. So, the Charleston shooting, when he walks up and shoots this whole choir of people singing. Um, why didn't you get a white guy to play that role? You know, let's just pretend that I actually believe that shooting happened, as they say it did. I don't think it happened at all. But let's just pretend that I believe it. Why wouldn't you get a white guy to play that role? Why would you further perpetuate the stereotype of black-on-black -black crime? In the first shooting that he did in this video, he shoots an older masculine dude that is playing guitar. Just blows his brains out. Oh, he did this Jim Crow stance right in the beginning of it, and then he shot someone. I just really think that they're saying to us that, Hey, black man, once again... You are an indiscriminate killer. I mentioned this in my Black Panther review. They want the black man to be seen as an indiscriminate killer of black people, white people, whoever. So, once again, we've lived that out. Don't act like Danny is the one who orchestrated this uh, video. Donald, sorry. Don't act like he's the one who orchestrated this video. I saw his producer. He is as white as snow. He's a Swedish dude. And interestingly enough, he always appears on stage with Donald. And Donald on Saturday Night Live, anybody else watch that and was expecting him to malfunction? That dude is a robot. 
okay? He's a robot. Um, the opening line of this video has black people, yeah, 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 just singing gibberish. This is this is what they want America to think of black people. Bunch of gibberish talk, dancing while the whole fucking world is in chaos around them that they live in. And just, you know, relax, black person, and dance your troubles away. Don't try to fix your situation because there's no hope. You're pretty much in a prison. Your neighborhood's a prison. There's no way out of it. Just dance. And with these exaggerated eyes, I could just see Mr. Steinberg paying them. So, uh, come here, uh... Cheyenne Quine, I noticed that your eyes weren't quite big enough when we did the last shoot. Um, if you could just make your eyes big and more more toothy. We picked you because you were dark skinned and so we're hoping for that contrast. So if you could just look more zombied and um, crazy when you're dancing, that would be great. And these people go for it. I love the way the black people are supposed to be sort of this hive mind. All the black people in this movie, you know, that we can clearly focus on, well, they're in a uniform, and they are dancing and doing the same dance moves. So in order to be black, you have to do X, Y, and Z, or you're not black. The only way that black people have given Donald Danny, whatever, a pass is because he did this certain dance moves. It ain't dance. You guys suck. I have taught special ed and you can't dance. Um, So he does these dance moves so that he'll be sort of endorsed by black people and we can say, oh, a black person is involved in this project and therefore it's okay. But I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. I don't buy that Donald has come up with this video on his own. This is another attempt to put the masses, the races against each other. Never turning around and wondering, hey, why do I work 40 hours a week? Why is my toothpaste poisonous? Why is my water poisonous? They don't want you to think about that. They want you to be grumpy with your neighbor who hasn't done anything. Oh, this video is so prolific. It's so profound. It's so nuanced. It's something that you simpletons can't get. I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it. Hollywood loves to show black people in poverty. That is why the cars at the end were old, decrepit cars. They love to show that this is the condition of black people. If they're not in jail, they're in some sort of chaotic neighborhood. And instead of changing it, they just dance. Did you notice too at the end, Donald lights a joint and then he's like, oh. Then he walks on top of these old cars and throws it away and immediately goes into this Michael Jackson kind of dance. So black people, you know what? They don't embrace the true lesson of marijuana. They just use it like a drug and then act out. That's what they want us to perceive about black people. Come to my area. So that's trying to say that, hey, you know what? We can't control where we live. We can't control our circumstances. We live in crime-ridden hell holes and that's someone else's fault. It's someone else's fault and we can't change it. Why do they constantly drill that narrative home for us? You really have to ask yourself, what are they trying to achieve? I'm really shocked that they didn't put a white person in there acting crazy. The black, uh, the black fear that they love to perpetuate in Hollywood, it's especially um, prolific among black male actors where they were crying 
or they're scared, something like that. So the closing scene is Donald Glover running away from a bunch of white police and with the fear in his eyes. Confident guy is gone. Now we got this look bitch ass man who did a bunch of things and doesn't want to own up to it. And we're supposed to respect this. This is a propaganda piece. What is most telling about it is how many news sources and social media sources have come out explaining this video and saying the same exact thing. So this art has been interpreted by millions of people in the same exact way. Like that's not suspicious. What they've done is said, think this about this video. This is what I want you to think about this video. Uh, that black people are just so oppressed. They have terrible lives and they can't change them. And they need help. And you know, maybe if we get rid of the guns and the Second Amendment, everything would get better. Yeah, we're not going to do anything bad. We're just trying to take your guns and gonna make up all sorts of shit to make you agree with it. And if you don't agree with it, you're a racist. Um, right. So anyway, I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for being here week after week. It's been a rough week for me. My dog died. I told you in the last video that he was sick. He went ahead and died. Moral of the story is... Watch who you let look after your pets when you're out of town. Just be careful with that. And um, I just want to thank, you know, um, everyone who made this video possible. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for coming back. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you in my next video. And if you want to sponsor it, you know what to do with the PayPal. I'll leave the link below. And I will announce you like I did in this video. And I will be oh so grateful. So thank you so much. 